Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on mass conservation equation. So, we will be talking about the uh, governing equations, especially uh, the conservation equation of mass uh, in this lecture and uh, we talked about the uh, certain points related to the fluid fundamentals. And uh, now, now, we will be talking about the uh, conservation equation for mass. So, there are certain assumptions uh, in that uh, we take the fluid as the uh, continuum. So, uh, basically uh, for the analysis of fluid flow at the macroscopic length scale, so when it is 1 micrometer or larger, the uh, molecular structure of matter and molecular motions we have to ignore uh, for this um, uh, analysis. Then uh, we are also having the behavior of the fluid which we will try to describe uh, in terms of the macroscopic properties like uh, velocity, uh, pressure, density, temperature and their space and time derivatives. So, we, we are going to have uh, these properties and in that term we are going to have the uh, discussion about the uh, flow behavior or fluid behavior. Now, uh, fluid particle or uh, point in a fluid will be uh, the smallest possible element of fluid whose macroscopic properties are not influenced by individual molecules. So, the, with this uh, we are going to have the analysis of uh, the uh, flow behavior and we will be talking about the uh, conservative conservation uh, properties, uh, you know uh, conservative uh, uh, principles for certain uh, you know uh, things like mass or momentum. So, in this lecture we are going to talk about the uh, mass. Now, if you talk about the uh, properties of the fluid, so suppose you have a point x, y, z where you are defining. Now, in that case uh, the, uh, the all the fluid properties are uh, uh, function of the space and time. So, you have properties like density, uh, pressure, temperature or velocity they are all said to be a function of uh, uh, space as well as time. So, we define it as uh, rho x y z t. So, they will be a function of uh, the space coordinate as well as the time coordinate. Similarly, pressure fun also function of uh, the space and time coordinate. Uh, then you have uh, the temperature that is also function of space and time and similarly the velocity. So, uh, if you try to have uh, the properties uh, uh, to be found at the faces, so this is at the suppose you are taking a, a cubical element. Now, in that uh, this x y at x y z point you have these properties like uh, um, you know these uh, density or pressure or temperature or velocity. So, if you have to define at the uh, face, so that can be done uh, by the Mm, Taylor series expansion and in that uh, uh, assuming it to be very small you can ignore the uh, terms which are coming after the first two terms. So, uh, if you uh, take this, uh, this face, uh, so that will be uh, your west face on, on this side. So, on this face you will have uh, if you take the uh, pressure. So, if the pressure P is at this point x, y, z, so at, at this phase it will be P minus dou P by dou x and this will be half of delta x. So, delta x is the uh, you know the, the length of this whole uh, uh, you know phase whole length is delta x and uh, this point has the distance of delta x by 2 from this west phase. So, it will be P minus dou P by dou x into half of delta x. Similarly, pressure at the uh, east face will be P plus uh, dou P by dou x into half of uh, delta x. So, that way 
uh, you are going to have the uh, you have going to define these uh, you know properties of the uh, fluids at uh, the uh, different uh, you know uh, phases. So, similarly uh, when you go to the uh, you know uh, this uh, north phase, uh, so you will have a p plus uh, uh, dou p by so this with this direction is your z, so this will be dou p by dou z and then uh, it will be half of delta z. So, that way accordingly you will have the uh, value of uh, these uh, uh, you know uh, properties across these uh, phases and that will be used when we talk about uh, the uh, conservation uh, principle of the uh, mass. Now, uh, coming to the uh, mass conservation principle, mass conservation principle tells that uh, you will have the uh, you know uh, rate of increase of mass in uh, fluid element. It will be uh, same as the, the uh, net rate of mass into the uh, fluid element. So, whatever uh, net rate of uh, mass flow is there into the element, it will be same as the rate of increase of mass in the uh, fluid any element. So, what we see as you have seen that uh, you will have uh, at this point if the point these uh, properties are u rho uh, t u v and all that so uh, or, or p so that will be you will have the uh, values on all the sides and uh, we will have the expression for uh, this uh, you know uh, uh, accordingly we will be trying to find so uh, the uh, rate of uh, uh, increase of mass in the uh, fluid element. So, rate of increase of mass in fluid element. So, it will be uh, dou by dou t that is uh, rate of increase with respect to time and uh, mass will be uh, density into volume. So, volume will be uh, delta x, delta y and delta z that is uh, cubical element. So, uh, density will be rho and then you will have delta x, delta y and delta z. So, uh, it will be uh, dou rho by dou t into uh, delta x, delta y, delta z. So, that is being a constant it will be coming out. So, dou rho by dou t delta x, delta y, delta z. Now, we need to have uh, the value of the mass flow rate uh, across the uh, you know phases of the uh, element. So, you will have uh, the 6 different phases and you need to find out the mass flow rate across uh, uh, these phases and it will be given by. So, mass flow rate across the phase so that will be the uh, product of the uh, you know uh, density. So, that will be uh, rho then you will have the uh, area and uh, that will be further multiplied with the velocity component normal to the phase. So, uh, you will have the uh, the velocity component which is normal to the phase and then you will have uh, density and the area. So, uh, if you uh, take the uh, you know along the uh, boundaries, so you will have uh, uh, the uh, values and, and if you see it will be rho u. So, if you say uh, you are taking the, uh, the east phase or so, so it will be rho u minus uh, dou of rho u by uh, do x and as you so you have seen you have the half delta x. So, that is uh, uh, your uh, the uh, you know part. So, this is uh, uh, and then uh, you will have uh, this is multiplied by delta y delta z and uh, then it will be. Uh, so, one is this and another is on the uh, right hand side. So, it will be uh, rho u plus dou of rho u by uh, delta x half of delta x and that will be multiplied by delta y delta z. So, if you take that in the uh, x direction, so 
uh, you have uh, one flow from here and another flow on, on this side. So, that is what you are getting this uh, um, uh, these two faces uh, taking into account this uh, terminology is coming. Similarly, you will have uh, if you take the uh, you know uh, V component. So, you will have uh, rho V minus dou of rho V upon dou y and that will be uh, multiplied by half of delta y. So, and that will be uh, multiplied by again delta x delta z and uh, that will be further minus of uh, rho v uh, plus dou of rho v by uh, dou y uh, half of delta y and it will be multiplied with uh, uh, delta x delta z. So, that will be uh, for the uh, y component and then you have the uh, z component. So, uh, that z component will be again uh, w will be coming. So, you will have uh, rho w minus dou of rho w by uh, dou z and uh, that will be multiplied by half of delta z. So, one is this multiplied by delta x delta y. Similarly, uh, you have uh, rho w plus dou of rho w by uh, dou z half of delta z and that will be multiplied by uh, delta x delta y. So, this is the uh, basically uh, net mass flow rate. Uh, uh, that is uh, uh, across the uh, phases. So, you, you have uh, the rate of uh, that is net rate of mass flow into the uh, fluid element that is what uh, you are uh, seeing uh, from here. So, one is uh, coming and another is going. So, net rate of mass flow into the fluid element will be uh, this particular uh, you know uh, uh, value. So, if you are uh, taking so in, in that what you see you will be uh, getting uh, these terminologies uh, cancelled and you will get uh, certain terminologies. So, here you are getting dou rho by dou t uh, into delta x delta y and delta z. Now, in this case uh, what you see this is uh, minus of uh, uh, dou of uh, delta u upon dou x half delta x and that will be uh, minus of uh, dou of delta u by delta x into half delta x into de delta y delta z. So, these two terms will be uh, you know uh, added and they will be a negative term of minus of uh, dou of uh, dou u by de, de, uh, dou x uh, delta x delta y delta z. So, that is what you are getting. So, and this will be term uh, you know ultimately together and that will be equated to this term. So, what you get uh, is that you are getting uh, this term dou rho by dou t uh, delta x delta y delta z. That will be uh, equal to uh, this term uh, dou of rho u by dou x and uh, then uh, you will have uh, uh, this uh, uh, delta x delta y delta z. So, it will be uh, equal to a minus of dou of rho u by uh, dou x delta x delta y delta z. Similarly, minus of dou of rho v by dou y delta x delta y delta z. And uh, similarly, you will have another term that will be the minus of dou of dou z of rho w delta x delta y delta z. So, that is uh, uh, coming as the negative term when you add all these terms uh, of uh, uh, this. So, it will be minus and minus. So, it will be that half delta x will be delta x. So, delta x delta y delta z. Now, this which you can write. So, delta x delta y delta z can be cancelled on both these sides. So, you can write dou rho by dou t plus uh, dou by dou x of rho u plus dou by dou y of rho v 
plus dou by dou z of rho w that will be equal to um, 0. So, this is what uh, you get. Uh, so, this equation that is uh, what you are getting that is known as the uh, you know conservation um, of uh, mass this is uh, known as the uh, mass conservation equation. Now, uh, what you see so this if you try to you know uh, write in a compact vectorial form. So, in vector notation you can write this as dou rho by dou t plus dive of rho u. So, that will be equal to uh, 0. So, that uh, so that is uh, also this is also known as the uh, uh, mass conservation equation. Now, this is known as the three dimensional uh, mass conservation equation or we can also uh, call it as the uh, continuity equation. So, uh, uh, normally uh, that is uh, uh, generally defined for the compressible fluid. However, if uh, you have uh, the incompressible fluid where uh, density does not uh, vary. So, in that case uh, rho will be uh, uh, constant. So, for incompressible fluid so when we talk about uh, the uh, fluid flow like water or steel or so they are incompressible in nature. So, in that case uh, the rho is uh, basically constant. So, as the rho becomes uh, constant, so uh, your term becomes dive of rho u that will be equal to 0. So, this is the uh, you know equation that is uh, uh, known as the uh, continuity equation for the uh, compressible flow. So, you simply write in that case the rho becomes constant. So, rho will come out. So, dive u equal to 0. So, it will be dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y plus dou w by dou z that will be equal to uh, 0. So, that is what uh, the uh, continuity equation you know uh, is uh, defined as. Now, uh, next thing what uh, we will uh, so next we will be studying about the uh, momentum conservation and before that uh, we need to know uh, something about the uh, rate of change of the uh, you know uh, following the uh, fluid particle and, uh, a, and and for a fluid element. So, uh, that is uh, uh, capital D by uh, d t. So, uh, d phi by d t for any uh, fluid property. So, that will be uh, rate of change. So, that is total derivative basically. So, that is uh, following a fluid particle and for a fluid element. So, you will have the changes in the properties of uh, the fluid particle and for that Lagrangian approach is uh, you know uh, used and uh, each uh, property will be the uh, function of the uh, position and the uh, time. So, uh, the, the, the uh, all the properties being the function of the position and time so x, y, z and t. So, uh, we normally you have any property per unit mass which we define. So, we define so suppose uh, let we uh, the uh, value of a property per unit mass be phi. So, if you are uh, seeing that uh, phi so it will be uh, depending upon uh, so its value will be depending or uh, will be depending upon x y z and t. And if you talk about the total derivative or the substantial derivative that is capital D by d t. So, total or substantial derivative 
So, that is uh, basically represented by d by d t of uh, phi of any property. So, that d phi by d t will be uh, you know represented that will be equal to uh, dou phi by dou t plus uh, uh, you know dou phi by dou x into d x by d t plus dou phi by uh, dou y into d y by d t plus dou phi by dou z into d z by d t. So, this is uh, the expression for the uh, substantial derivative and this will be used when we will talk about the uh, conservation of uh, properties like uh, momentum or temperature in that those cases. Now, uh, for a fluid particle uh, you know uh, which is in the flow. So, your uh, dx by dt will be u and dy by dt will be v and dz by dt will be you know uh, w. So, this will be your u this will be v and this will be w. So, you can write uh, you know d phi by dt that will be uh, equal to uh, you know dou phi by dou t plus u dou phi by dou, dou x plus uh, you know uh, v dou phi by dou y plus w dou phi by dou z. So, uh, you can further uh, write this you know as uh, uh, first is the transient term that is dou phi by dou t and uh, then you will have the uh, term that is uh, you can write u grad phi. So, so that is how uh, you know u grad phi. So, it will be uh, you have three components u v w. So, accordingly you dou phi by dou x plus v dou phi by dou y. So, so this uh, basically uh, d phi by d t it will be defining the rate of uh, change of the property phi uh, per unit mass and uh, uh, that way uh, we are going to use it for uh, you know uh, for expressing uh, you know whenever we are going to have the uh, definition for uh, the uh, for, for the conservation of mass equation or, or for the conservation of momentum equation. So, in that case uh, we are going to have the use of these uh, property phi uh, in the uh, different manner. So, if you talk about the uh, mass conservation equation. So, you if you talk about the uh, mass conservation equation you will have uh, uh, mass per unit volume is uh, uh, basically rho. So, that is the uh, conserved quantity. So, in that case uh, uh, you know if you talk about the uh, uh, change of the density. So, sum of the rate of change of the density uh, you know uh, uh, in time and the convective term and the uh, you know in that uh, mass consecutive term. So, if you talk about the uh, the uh, conservation equation for the mass which you have derived earlier that was uh, dou rho by dou t. So, you this uh, phi will be basically replaced by uh, rho. So, it will be uh, uh, dou uh, rho by dou t plus u times grad uh, uh, rho and since uh, rho will be uh, will not be changing. So, so accordingly you can uh, see here that was uh, dive of uh, rho u. So, that is what uh, you can get it uh, you know uh, from that particular uh, equation itself. So, uh, if you uh, try to have the this uh, you know uh, for the uh, uh, for the uh, you know arbitrary conserved property you can uh, write the uh, generalized uh, you know uh, term that will be uh, dou of rho phi by dou t plus dive of rho phi u. So, uh, you know uh, if you uh, uh, try to derive uh, the uh, conservation equation for either the mass or the momentum you can directly uh, get from uh, here. Now, uh, if you uh, see that uh, uh, you know if you look at uh, the expression the dou of rho phi upon dou t plus dive of uh, rho phi u. So, uh, that will be uh, if you see it will be uh, rho of uh, dou phi by dou t 
plus u grad phi plus uh, phi times dou rho by dou t plus dive of rho u. So, that becomes uh, uh, equal to rho of d phi by d t. Now, in this case uh, uh, what you see that uh, the, uh, the term that is uh, phi times dou rho by dou t. Now, this uh, term is uh, 0 because the density is constant. So, that term uh, becomes uh, 0 and also uh, plus dive rho u. So, that uh, uh, this term becomes uh, 0. So, what uh, is uh, coming out of uh, this expression is that uh, you when you see the rate of increase of uh, you know uh, any property phi uh, of a fluid element. So, that is your uh, d phi by d t uh, substantial derivative that will be uh, you know uh, net rate of flow of phi out of the uh, fluid element plus rate of increase of phi for a fluid particle. So, accordingly uh, you can have, so if you uh, uh, look at the uh, momentum equation which we will try to uh, you know uh, derive in that you will have the term for x momentum, y momentum and uh, uh, z momentum. So, uh, if you look at the uh, x momentum term. Now, in that case uh, you will have uh, uh, the uh, different terms. So, you will have uh, the term u, you will have uh, rho du by dt and uh, accordingly you will get uh, uh, dou of rho u by dou t plus dive of rho u u. So, that will be uh, for the uh, x momentum. Similarly, if you go for the uh, y momentum y momentum you will have uh, the velocity component is v. So, you will have uh, the total derivative rho uh, dv by dt and that comes as uh, uh, dou of rho v by dou t plus dive of rho v u. So, so accordingly, so this way you will have uh, the, the z momentum equation and in that you have a w. So, it becomes rho of d w by d t and uh, that becomes uh, equal to dou by dou t of rho w plus dive of rho w u. So, uh, so accordingly you know if you use this uh, total derivative term, this total derivative uh, substantial total or derivative or substantial derivative uh, expression that will be used. Uh, for finding these conservation equation for uh, momentum also uh, in the long uh, in the coming lectures where uh, we will be having the derivation of these uh, uh, conservation equation for the uh, momentum. So, uh, so in the coming lecture we will be having uh, you know the um, uh, expression for the momentum equation in uh, three dimension. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.